Hey guys, West Coast Taco here and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be going over these annoying little scratches and scuffs that tend to just like magically appear on the Tacoma door panels. And it's kind of like mind blowing to me and mind boggling that these things even happen because it's not like I'm doing anything. I mean, it's like they just like, it's almost like you just look at it and they appear. So I've got some products I'm going to give a uh, review on and kind of give them a, a shot and see if they really do help. I saw some good things about them. What I'll probably do on a later video is honestly just try to do a color match as best I can and kind of run you guys through what I'm doing to try to get the, uh, the plastic to match correctly. But it's just weird how easily this stuff scratches and it's not like I'm over here with my keys and you know, a bunch of stuff on the side of my uh, pants. So I don't know what causes this. But let me get my stuff out and uh, we'll take a look at what I'm doing and go from there. All right, guys. So I'm going to start off with uh, some Meguiar's Quick Interior Detailer Cleaner. Kind of leaves more of like a matte finish and not so much of like a shiny, greasy finish. For you guys that have ever detailed the interior of your car before or have used other products, I try to stay away from products that leave like that greasy residue. It's really annoying and it honestly kind of makes the truck look kind of grimy and grubby and it causes dust to stick to it. Just doesn't look that great in my opinion. So what I'm doing first is I spray a little bit of this uh, quick detailer onto a microfiber cloth. And I'm gonna wipe everything down here. Let's see, the scratches are at. Okay, so as you can see, just by wiping them with something wet, they kind of disappear. So they are very minor, but once this dries, obviously they are going to reappear again. So what I'm gonna do is, so I'm gonna try out this stuff called VRP by Chemical Guys. You can kind of see it in the corner of the uh, video here already. And I'm going to use it and see if it does kind of restore the the area because as you can see as it's beginning to dry it's already coming back it's like damp and then within seconds it's going to be showing again so here's the vrp stuff i've read good really good reviews about it it's dry to the touch repels dirt and water and it's long lasting protection and um you know my hope is is that it really is dry to the touch and doesn't leave that um, oily residue or greasy residue. So like anything else, shake well, spread with a foam or microfiber applicator pad. Work into surface, wipe excess if desired, reply as needed. So let me shake this up a little bit. I'm probably going to have to take off this lid here, so hold on a second here. All right, guys. So... Inside of every single chemical guys' lid, there's like a little piece of like um, tin that they use to kind of seal the uh, product from being in the actual cap. So make sure when you guys um, open anything by chemical guys, at least everything that I've opened, take off the uh, lid first, it unscrews, and you can take that piece off. It's usually lodged up in here. So let's give this stuff a shot. Start off with a little bit and see how it goes. Smells good. Just removing some dirt. Looks like it's doing pretty good. It smells really good, guys. I actually like the smell, but it's kind of got like a fruity, fruity smell, kind of like a mango, maybe. If I can get in some mango. Let's see here. All right, so I'm kind of doing the whole panel to give it a uniform look. And I mean, it's definitely helping a lot. 
obviously it's not gonna turn everything black because you know it is what it is where those little white or gray marks are at they're kind of just there but you can see some right there where that sticker used to be for my um, rear locking diff instructions I'm gonna put some on there kind of see how that looks yeah I mean it definitely helps it's not making it any worse So yeah, guys, if you guys have some serious scratches, I don't think this is probably gonna do much for you. But for someone like me, where I do have some light scratches that just kind of appeared out of nowhere, I mean, it's helping. As you can see, it's definitely looking better than what it was. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. Keep it going. I like using white microfiber towels when I do this so I can kind of see if I'm getting a lot of dirt and oils out of here. It's definitely cleaning as well. So I just used the detailer, whatever the detailer wasn't taking out this is. So I like that it kind of, it's almost like a polish for your interior after you uh, clean it with like detailer. All right, so now I'm back in the uh, driver's side passenger. I haven't even put anything on it yet. So let's see if I can get you guys a good view of what it looks like before and then after I start add adding the, uh, the VRP. Okay, so there's a little bit of scratching or scuffs here. And it does blend it in better. Yeah. Well, going forward, I'll probably use this stuff just because I like the way it kind of leaves the truck. It's supposedly, it's not going to like cause this like dry. Not, I mean, it's going to dry over a period of time. It's not going to last forever by any means, but it's supposed to last a lot longer than maybe just like a detailer where you just spray, wipe, remove any dirt, dust, grime, whatever it is. This is supposed to be more of like a second like a polish or something you do afterwards to kind of give it that luster that kind of lasts longer. Yeah, it's not it's not oily or greasy. That's actually really nice. 
It's really nice. So there you are, guys. VRP. Vinyl, rubber, and plastic protectant by Chemical, guys. I'm going to do the other two door panels and uh, kind of give you a quick little wrap-up of how everything came out. Okay, guys. So I'm all done with the uh, VRP. It's been three hours since I applied it. And actually, he's doing a really good job. It's really like, actually hiding those fine scratches that uh, I had before. I mean, they're still slightly there, but they look better for sure. This is not by any means like the cure or the fix, but it works. So yeah, guys, if you guys have some minor scratches, some things you're trying to restore, I recommend VRP by Chemical, guys. It's a good thing to use once you're done getting the dirt, dust, grime off of your panels. It's kind of like a dressing, essentially, but it doesn't give you that oily residue feel. It feels like dry plastic. So I like it. All right, guys. Hope it helped. Stay tuned for more. See ya.